Poland are set to appear at a third consecutive UEFA European Championship. And though they're yet to register a win at the finals, will travel to France, a team brimming with self-belief. The springboard to their successful qualifying campaign can be traced back to match day two, when they recorded a first ever win over neighbours Germany. Arkadiusz Milik, who was just breaking into the side at the time, got the ball rolling on a special night in Warsaw. It helped me a lot. From then on, I remained a player that the coach could trust. I played a good match, and then came another one against Scotland. The coach kept faith in me. For that, I'm grateful. And I have repaid him with more good performances. I remember that night very well. It transformed the relationship between the fans and the players. That match against Germany helped put the national team back in fashion. People wanted to come and watch the games because they were witnessing great spectacles. Under coach Adam Nawalka, Poland have developed into a formidable, confident and attack-minded outfit. Their 33 goals scored in qualifying was the most by some margin. Starman Robert Lewandowski was the fulcrum of the team. He and 22-year-old Milik formed a prolific partnership, netting 19 times between them. It's out of respect to the opponent that when we are winning by one goal, we don't celebrate it, but look to score more and more. We look for the third, fourth and the fifth goal. That mentality is the difference and is the reason why we scored so many. In midfield, Sevilla's Gregorz Krikowiak was a rock, playing every minute of the campaign. The 26-year-old wasn't selected for the squad at Euro 2012 and may just have a point to prove in France. Poland are riding high and so are expectations. Supporters believe they possess a better team than the one that competed as co-hosts four years ago. Fans may feel that we are a better side and the media will do their job of telling them that. But we know how to approach it. We're a national team that can beat anyone. But we're not favourites in every match. You need to remember that. I would rather see us building up the expectations alongside our success at the tournament. Poland have finished bottom of their group on their two previous appearances at the Euro, so they'll be looking for a winning start in Group C against Northern Ireland in Nice. But all eyes are naturally drawn to the contest against Germany on match day two, which will be played out in front of 80,000 supporters at the Stade de France. It will be a special match. Poland against Germany always is. We will try to repeat the success we achieved in Warsaw by defeating them again and continuing our winning march. We want to cause a stir at the tournament. The most important thing is to play with our hearts on our sleeves and fight for every ball. We may be lacking in ability against the better sides, but if we battle until the end like we did in the qualifiers, we can be very positive about our chances.